my second, third, and fourth grade artists. It's Mr. Hurlbert, and today we are talking about positive and negative space. So, here's the space I chose in my house. And now I've um, gotten my paper ready for my space study, and I'm, I'm drawing my positive space. So, while I'm drawing this, I'm not thinking about drawing all the details of every single object i'm pretending like all the objects that i see in this particular spot of my house are combined into one big object and so what i'm doing is then i'm drawing the outline essentially of that one big object and that would be my positive space. So I'm not focused on the tiny little details on each and every single object. For instance, the books, I'm not gonna write the titles or the TV, I'm not gonna draw the, the inner frame of the TV or the inner parts of my lamp or the spikes on my cactus or um, the details on the snake stuffed animal or anything like that what i'm doing is i'm focusing on just the outline to highlight my positive space so remember positive space is our main subject or objects in the picture it's what takes up the space and so now that i've done that i've, I've gotten my one color and i'm just going in and i'm coloring in the entire thing coloring in all that positive space to show the difference between my positive and my negative space. And this will be challenging at first, but I find it to be really fun because it makes you think about drawing in a different way. So sometimes when we draw, we get too focused on all the little details when we should just focus on the big things that we need to get drawn first one thing for sure is like our outline and our outline kind of maps out what our positive space is going to be and so that's exactly what this is and so for me it was really good to just focus on drawing the positive space so now i'm just coloring it in adding those last little details So remember the black part that we're coloring in is our positive space and then the space around our positive space, the white, is our negative space. And that's it. And I'm done. And that's our assignment for the week. So have fun. Bye.